ओके नाउ लेट मी गिव यू फ्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड क्विकली टेल मी हाउ विल यू ड्रॉ द रिजल्टेंट जस्ट ड्रॉ द रिजल्टेंट देर विल बी अ लिटिल टेस्ट ऑफ योर इंटेलिजेंस नाउ दिस इज अ वेक्टर वर्टिकल वेक्टर ए दिस इज हंड्रेड न्यूटन This is a vertical vector A. This is a horizontal vector B. Width is 200 newton. This is a third vector, which is at an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal. And this vector is 50 newton. This is A, this is B, and this is C. And am I right when I have written these things? When I say B is equal to this, is it okay? Yes, oh, sir. Magnitude of B is this. Yes, be attentive and point it out. Yes. Now please tell me. All of you have to just draw the diagrams. You don't have to do any calculations. You don't have to tell me the answers. You just have to draw the diagrams. Find A plus C. Draw, draw the diagram and show me. A plus C. Find A plus B plus C. And third is find A minus B. Now let me see how many of you are intelligent. Self, you need to have some brains to do this. These three. Just draw. Graphically and draw an arrow and show me this will be the answer. Now see this. Let me do it. A plus B. If I want to draw A plus B, just see this. I'll draw vector A on the head of vector A. Again, the scaling factor you have to take care. Hundred newton, suppose ten centimeter. So right now, if this is a graphical solution. I am not teaching you how to solve it mathematically. You choose a scale, 100 newton. Suppose I have chosen 10 newton as one centimeter. I'll draw a vertical line of 10 centimeter. This is vector A. Now please tell me how do I draw the vector C? At 45 degrees, I'll draw this line. How long? Half. So I'll draw a vector 45 degrees. This. third side of the triangle where do i have to start from here to here or this way to this way so c beginning to the end yes this vector will represent a plus b so have you understood what will be a plus c now how do we go about a plus b plus c so we add b we can add b. head of a touching the head of c Yes, we can do that. Head of A is touching the head of C. What are you saying? How, sir? Did you say head of C? That is the head of C. This was A. This was B. No, sir. This is C. This is C. Yes, the resultant. The resultant. Sorry, this is C. The resultant will be this. A plus C. Is there any problem in this? No. The direction of the resultant vector will be in the opposite direction of the triangle, like how it's going. Yeah. You have to. I am telling you. Please write it down. When in triangle method, in triangle method, draw one vector. Draw any vector on the head of that vector. Keep the tail of another vector. Yes. In triangle method, draw any vector. Draw any vector on the head of that vector. On the head of that vector, keep the tail of the other vector.
एंड नाउ ये वाली लाइन आपको अंडरलाइन करनी है ज्वाइन कंप्लीट द ट्राइंगल स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द टेल ऑफ द फर्स्ट टू द हेड ऑफ द सेकेंड कंप्लीट द ट्राइंगल ज्वाइनिंग द हेड ऑफ टेल ऑफ द फर्स्ट टू द हेड ऑफ द सेकेंड दैट विल रिप्रेजेंट द डायरेक्शन एंड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑल्सो द लेंथ ऑफ दैट वैक्टर विल गिव यू द मैग्नीट्यूड सो दिस इज हाउ यू एड टू वैक्टर्स हैज इज एवरी वन क्लियर अबाउट दिस नाउ is everyone clear yes sir okay this is a plus c now can anyone tell me how do i go about a plus b plus c first a then b first you find a plus b so i'll shift b thoda sa left mein on the head of a i'll put b this is b i can find so the resultant is c this will be a plus b this vector will be a plus b and yes if i add t vector to this vector again what i have to do tell me yes keep the tail of uh, c on the head of a plus b this is a plus b on the head of a plus b keep the tail of c and the tail of c will be at an angle 45 degrees like this this is c and now you can see if you do not even draw this if you have just drawn a on the head of a you kept the tail of b on the head of b you kept the tail of c and now you finally co complete this this will represent what a c plus b plus c yes this is also called polygon mapping polygon law so if you have n vectors keep drawing the tail of one on the head of another and keep doing that and finally again the resultant will be from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector that will represent the resultant or and you can add n number of vectors like this so this was something which you yourself were how many of you were able to do the second part on your own very good and now the third part let me do the third part and i am very happy with the performance because it's not that easy maybe you have already done these things giving myself the benefit of doubt and not assuming that you people are so intelligent i will be asking you original questions and seeing your intelligence so just wait this domain can be you might have learned at home you might have read these chapters pehle kahin pe kuch kar liya hoga So, अभी थोड़ी देर में दूध का दूध और पानी का पानी हो जाएगा वेट नाउ थर्ड इज ए माइनस बी प्लीज सी दिस बी वेक्टर वॉज दिस सो वॉट बी दिस वेक्टर यस एंड इफ आई इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग ए माइनस बी इफ आई राइट ए प्लस माइनस बी विल इट बी दस ए माइनस बी और नॉट Yes, so i i will add a and minus b vector so mr guru are you clear now yes sir so a vector is this a vector was this on the head of a i'll draw minus b this vector is minus b and add these two vectors so adding we know this is a this is minus b and therefore this will be the resultant a minus b is everyone clear about these three things yes sir yes sir, yes. sir uh, when we do a plus b a remains the same but the direction of b is in the opposite side so the magnitude of a plus b will be the same as the magnitude of a minus b right magnitude so value the same one? not always only if they are perpendicular then you are getting this but always it will not be true Uh, in, this in this case yes magnitude will remain the same but the direction in this case was this a plus b and in a minus b it is this direction are you clear yes sir. yes very good observation but not something to be very uh, proud of but let's see abhi aage chal next 
So now we have learned we have learned how to add two vectors by triangle method. Now let's learn the other method also, which is called parallelogram method. In parallelogram method, please see the name itself is describing it. You have one vector A, you have another vector B. Suppose I want to add these two vectors. In triangle method, please remember on the head of one you are keeping the Tails. In parallelogram method, keep the tails of both the vectors together. So now if A vector you want to shift, you have to do what? You have to keep the direction and magnitudes unchanged. So is this vector A or not? Yes. Sir. If I shift this vector, is this vector B or not? Yes, yes sir. Are there tails together? Yes. Sir. Once you have done this, then complete the parallelogram. So draw a line parallel to this vector and draw a line parallel to this vector. And the, mother, I, my handwriting may not be very neat and clear, but this, start from the tails again and reach the corner of the parallelogram. This vector will represent A plus B resultant. Please note it down. Describe it to yourself how you did it. A plus B will be the diagonal. And which diagonal? You have to be clear about that. There are two diagonals of this parallelogram. You have to be careful which diagonal. The diagonal starting from the common tail. That diagonal will. The other will be A minus B. Yes, the other will be A minus B. So we'll come to that. Right now, just a plus B. We are just learning addition. Subtraction is a byproduct because in that you have to just reverse the direction. Now I am coming to a third thing. We will come back to both these later also. Abhi. Today's lecture, later half. Right now, let me go to the next step. Right now, we are geographically understanding. We haven't done any mathematical calculation. I am just telling you draw this according to a scale, draw this according to a scale and then find the third side, measure it with the scale and you will know from the scaling that you have defined, the scale that you have defined, you will know this length in centimeters, multiply it by that scale and you will know what is the magnitude of the resultant. Direction also you will be uh, on in the graph, on the paper you will be able to show the direction. Now let me come to our next thing, we will come back again and do numericals based on these.